Hi guys, I am making another famous Vietnamese dish and it is braised catfish in a caramel sauce. I have had many requests to make this recipe so I'm going to show you my version of it today. Here's everything that you're going to need. Um, first off, you'll need some catfish steaks and I had purchased these at my local Asian market. We'll need some garlic, shallot, scallions, fish sauce, coconut juice, cocoa caramel syrup, and look it even has a picture of the braised catfish right on the label. And this here is completely optional. It's a can of peeled straw mushrooms. This is usually not added to your traditional braised catfish recipe, but I was at a Vimy's restaurant one time and they added it to their uh, braised catfish and I thought it was just delicious so I'm going to add it as well and we'll need some sugar so there you go let's get started first off we're going to wash the catfish steaks with some salt so we'll sprinkle on some salt and flip them over and sprinkle salt on the other side as well Yeah, just sprinkle on a generous amount and turn on the cold water. Just rub it in like that. And flip them over and do the same on the other side. Okay. Then you're going to drain the water and then rinse off the salt. Put it on both the other side. Okay, let's marinate the fish. We'll start out by adding some fish sauce. Okay. And then the sugar. And in this little bowl here, I have some garlic salt and black pepper. And then we're going to add some of the cocoa caramel syrup. Just drizzle some right over the fish steaks. And then just flip all the fish over so that you can coat both sides of the fish steaks with the caramel sauce. Like that. Just flip them back and forth until they're all coated with the caramel sauce. Okay, we're not done yet. We gotta add some garlic and shallots. Alright, add the chopped garlic and the chopped shallots. Spread the chopped shallots and garlic around so it's evenly distributed. And we're going to marinate the fish for um, at least 30 minutes. While the fish is marinating, let's drain and rinse the mushrooms. I'm going to add the mushrooms in with the fish as well. And let it marinate with the fish. The mushroom's gonna be really tasty later. All right, folks, we're ready to start cooking. Um, the fish has marinated for 30 minutes, and I've chopped some green onions or scallions. Over here, I'm using a Dutch oven. First of all, most people don't have a clay pot at home, and second of all, there's no way I can get six fish steaks to fit into that little clay pot. So therefore, I'm using my Dutch oven. So I added some oil, as you can see, and I'm just waiting for it to get hot. Uh, the heat is on medium high, and then I will add the fish. The oil is ready, so let me go ahead and add the fish steaks. Thank you. 
think I can fit them all in. Let me try. <laughs> see this guy in there, there. Okay, I think that's perfect. There we go. Perfect though. Okay, now all of this here, we're just going to dump into the Dutch oven. That's all the good stuff. Okay, and then just spread everything out a little bit. Once you added the fish and everything else, we're going to add a little bit more fish sauce. And we're going to leave it alone, let it cook for a few minutes. Okay, about two and a half minutes later, you want to um, flip the fish over carefully. And then we're going to cook it for another two and a half minutes on this side. Alright, the fish has been cooking on medium high heat for two and a half minutes on each side. Now I'm going to add the coconut juice. And then we're going to bring this back to a boil. You can see that the sauce has come to a boil, so turn your heat down to medium low. And let it simmer for 15 minutes. You don't need to do anything to it. You don't need to stir it or anything. Just leave it alone. The catfish has been simmering for 15 minutes now. It's time to flip them over. And we're going to simmer the other side for another 15 minutes. And be careful. You see how it's, um, it can easily break apart like that? So just be careful when you flip it over. Be gentle. There we are. Again, leave it alone. Don't be stirring it around or anything. Okay, we'll check back a little later. It's been simmering for another 15 minutes on this side. Um, total simmering time is uh, 30 minutes, 15 minutes on each side. Now it's time to uh, taste and adjust your sauce. Uh, you can see that it hasn't thickened up yet. Uh, it has reduced a little bit, but it hasn't thickened up. So we're going to have to cook this like another 15 but at this time, you can go ahead and taste and adjust your sauce. Alright, so let's take a look here. You know what? I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit more garlic salt. There we are. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. And like I said, don't stir it around. Just kind of spoon some of the sauce over the sugar so that it melts and then taste and adjust again just keep doing that until you get the sauce just the way that you want it it should be an equal balance of sweetness and saltiness let's try it now okay. I think it's perfect now but we're just waiting for the sauce to reduce a little bit more um, I'm gonna flip the fish over one more time carefully because it should be really fragile by now very careful. Oh, okay. And like I said, um, we're going to cook this side for another 15 minutes until I can get the sauce just the consistency that I want it. Okay, it's done. I simmered it for another, I think, 12 minutes. So I'll go ahead and turn off the heat. Okay, now let's throw in some chopped green onions. We we'll grab a handful and throw it on in there. Now, if you want to add some heat to this dish, you can always throw in some uh, red Thai chilies. Okay, now when you take the fish out of the pot, make sure that you use a spatula because the fish is going to be really fragile and it can break into like a million pieces. <laughs> so a spatula would be best. And just on the plate right there. I just gently plated it and here is my version of the braised catfish and caramel sauce. Turn it around for you so you can take a look. Like I said earlier, this isn't a traditional um, Vietnamese braised catfish recipe only because I added mushrooms to it. <laughs> 
Again, the mushrooms are optional, but I absolutely love it in this recipe. This is normally served with white rice, and I also like to eat this with some Vimy's pickled bean sprouts with garlic chives, or you can also eat it with some pickled mustard greens. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day and I'll see you later alligator. Bye!